I'm very pleased to join you at AIS, AISP's SME Cybersecurity Conference today. I'd like to thank AISP for organizing this conference for SMEs and for inviting me to deliver the keynote address, uh, albeit virtually. The topic of cybersecurity is indeed a very timely and salient one, as many SMEs go digital and embrace opportunities in our digital economy. I'm therefore heartened to see so many SMEs here today to learn more about cybersecurity and why it is a critical investment for you. 2020 has been an especially difficult year for businesses given the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. SME owners like yourselves had to adapt very quickly as the on-site operations grounded to a halt when the circuit breaker was imposed in April. To adhere to safe distancing measures, many businesses had to move their work processes online and allow their employees to work from home. Many of you had to adopt new digital tools to facilitate this process and learn how to use these tools on the fly. The COVID-19 pandemic has accelerated the digitalization of business operations for businesses of all size and across all industries. Virtual meetings such as this are now the norm and Zoom, Skype and WebEx have all become household names in just under a year. More businesses are also setting up online stores and uh, I, I even heard of a fishmonger selling fish via live streaming apps. So it's really heartening um, and we really encourage th this form of digital entrepreneurial spirit among our SMEs. Digitalization brings about many opportunities to offer new products and services and to access new markets without a physical presence and plug into cross-border information flows to gain new insights and ideas. But as Johnny mentioned in his welcome address earlier, Digitalization also exposes businesses to cybersecurity risks, which many SMEs may not be fully aware of. To take full advantage of the benefits of digitalization, businesses need to tackle the cybersecurity risks that they face and make sure that the risks are managed effectively. I would encourage you to think of the physical analog. When you set up a new business with a shop front, you will typically ensure that you have a door or gate that is locked every night and that you put in place CCTV cameras in case of a burglary. Some of you may even hire security guards to patrol your shop front. The same must apply in the digital space. The digital equivalents of a locked gate, CCTV cameras and security guards are necessary to keep your business secure against malicious actors looking to steal your assets and your data. At present, close to three in five enterprises, local enterprises that use the internet for work do not have any cybersecurity measures at all to protect themselves. This is very concerning, especially as we know that about 40% of all cyber incidents in Singapore tend to uh, target SMEs. The cyber risk that you face is high and it is real. Cyber attacks on SMEs are not only common, they are also costly. One of the common threats faced by SMEs is ransomware. This is a type of malicious software that shuts down your system for a ransom. And ransom demanded by the cyber criminals in a single attack can range anywhere from a few thousand to hundreds of thousands of dollars. Cumulatively, the cost of cyber attacks can amount to quite a large sum of money. Based on self-reported data from SMEs in Europe and the US, it is estimated that a mid-sized firm incurs an average cost of about a quarter of a million dollars from cyber incidents in a year. I cite these statistics and examples to highlight that contrary to popular belief, SMEs are no less a target of cyber attacks from large corporations. Sorry, are no less a target of cyber attacks than large corporations. In fact, SMEs are often low hanging fruits for hackers because they have fewer resources compared to the large corporations. And so their systems are often not as well protected. The financial impact is also a lot more damaging for SMEs. Again, I would reiterate here that, cyber, that the cyber risk that SMEs face is high and it is real. SMEs should therefore move away from the belief that they are too small to be attacked and take proactive steps to secure their networks and systems. At this point, you might think that cybersecurity is about spending more money on IT or hiring an IT professional to solve the issue. Many believe that cybersecurity is purely a technical issue. I would like to suggest that it is not. Cybersecurity is in fact a business risk management issue and it cannot be solved once and for all. Cybersecurity involves making trade-offs between security, usability and cost. The reality is that implementing more security is likely to cause higher costs and reduce usability or convenience. 
it is thus impossible to achieve all three objectives simultaneously. A simple example is implementing the two-factor authentication or 2FA, which is today mandated by the banks. Putting 2FA in place makes banking more secure, but it is more inconvenient for the user to check the 2FA token before he or she can access the bank account. It raises security, but reduces the usability of the system, which is our access to the bank account. But I think that all of us would gladly give up some usability to ensure that our assets in the bank account are secure for malicious actors. These trade-offs between security, usability, and cost require an executive decision and will depend on the nature of the threats as well as the criticality of the business. And ultimately, it is a business decision taken at the management level on how much risk to take. The first step to making this decision is to understand the company's cyber risk profile. This means that SME owners need to be aware of the cybersecurity threats faced by the organization and evaluate how much cybersecurity risk the company should take on. Often, we are unaware of the vulnerabilities in our systems as they become more interconnected. Entry points into our system can come from anywhere. In the US, for example, an internet connected fish tank in a casino was used as an entry point for hackers who were eventually able to exfiltrate data from the organization. I would therefore encourage all SME owners to conduct regular cyber risk assessments of the company's networks and systems. Your company's IT inventory list is a good place to start. Every company should maintain and regularly update an inventory list that lists all IT equipment, software, and other digital assets currently owned by the organization. Such a list will help companies to be more aware of the software and hardware in their systems, which is the first step to assess the company's cyber risk level. Having a thorough understanding of the company's cyber risk profile will help SME owners to make an informed decision on how much they should invest in cybersecurity. This brings me to my next point, which is that SMEs need to invest in cybersecurity to, pre to protect the company's digital assets and to build consumer confidence in the digital services provided. The government will support the SMEs in this endeavor by putting in place measures to help enterprises digitalize safely and to support enterprises to strengthen their cybersecurity posture. The Cybersecurity Agency of Singapore recently released the Safer Cyberspace Master Plan, a blueprint aimed at tackling the high volume day-to-day -day cyber threats faced by individuals, organizations, and enterprises like yourself. I think Yvonne has just put the link in the chat, uh, in the chat group. So if you're interested to read the full document, please do access and download it. Uh, besides efforts at the national level to protect Singapore's digital infrastructure, the master plan also details specific initiatives that enterprises can leverage to improve their cybersecurity. We understand that many SMEs may lack the budget, bandwidth, or expertise to address their cybersecurity needs. The master plan therefore provides actionable steps that SMEs can take to address the people, process, and technology challenges in cybersecurity. First, let me touch a little bit on the people challenge. End users are often the weakest link in cybersecurity. Many cybersecurity incidents occur through phishing attacks. A phishing attack is one where a hacker dupes a victim into clicking on a malicious link or providing sensitive information. For example, an attacker could target staff by sending an email claiming to be a supplier and convincing the staff to open a file that contains malware. This is very common. 70% of the incidents reported to CSA by, by SMEs and members of the public actually occurred through phishing attacks. The majority of cyber incidents, like what I just described, is actually not technically sophisticated. Many attacks can be averted if everyone in the organization is aware of common cyber threats and they practice good cyber hygiene. It is estimated that one in every 99 emails is a phishing attack. Even for a small company with just 10 employees, it is likely that the company will come across at least 10 phishing attacks a week. Over the course of a year, there would have been over 500 attempts to infiltrate your company's network. And your, your employees are really your first line of defense. It is important to educate your employees to spot signs of phishing and to practice good cyber hygiene. Measures such as using strong passwords and implementing 2FA are simple, but they can greatly improve the level of cybersecurity in an organization. To support SMEs in addressing the people challenge, CSA will develop resources and toolkits that enterprises can leverage to increase cybersecurity awareness. 
we will develop resources for three groups of stakeholders, enterprise leaders like yourselves, your employees, and your cybersecurity teams. For example, the toolkit for enterprise leaders will provide guidance on what leaders should look out for when making cybersecurity decisions at the management level. And CSA's toolkit for employees can serve as cyber awareness material for your staff on the best practices to adopt. We will roll these resources out over the next year. Second, on the process, on the challenge of processes. The review of your company's cyber risk profile should be conducted regularly. It is not enough to do a one-off review as an organization's cyber risk profile will change over time and the cybersecurity measures in place may no longer suffice. I will encourage you to conduct regular assessments and ensure that your company's cyber defenses are sufficiently um, uh, put in place to protect your key digital assets and data. To facilitate SMEs in your regular self-assessment of your cyber defenses, CSA will be developing an internet cyber hygiene portal. This portal will, will incorporate cyber health lookup tools to help enterprise users to assess their domain, email, and connectivity cyber health. These critical cyber health indicators will be made known to you, along with actionable steps to improve your cybersecurity. In addition to regular assessments of the company's cyber risk profile, it would be useful for, for SMEs to have contingency plans for cyber incidents. This is similar to how we have fire evacuation plans and fire drills. And like fire drills, these cyber incident response plans need to be practiced regularly. To provide organizations in Singapore with a safe environment to exercise their cyber incident response plans, CSA will be launching an exercise in the box initiative. Organizations will be able to practice and test their response to a variety of cyber attack scenarios using this tool. Such exercises will also help organizations access their, assess their cyber resilience and identify gaps in an organization's cyber defenses. So let me turn to, to touch on the technology challenge. As cyber attacks become more prevalent, it is a matter of when, not if, our, our systems are, are breached. This is a mindset that organizations of all sizes should possess, including SMEs. We encourage SMEs to implement the appropriate technology to not only prevent, but also to detect and respond to cyber attacks. These may include implementing encryption for your critical data, developing mechanisms to monitor database activity and putting in place protocols to contain an infected system after an incident to prevent the malware from spreading to other systems. CSA had previously published the Be Safe Online Handbook, which provides broad guidance on the cybersecurity essential measures that, a, that an enterprise should implement. However, we recognize that many SMEs may still face difficulties in determining the most suitable cyber solution to adopt. CSA is thus collaborating with local cybersecurity industry partners to design an architecture for integrated and automated security as a solution sorry, security as a service solutions that incorporates all the cybersecurity essentials to better protect enterprise users from malicious cyber activities. SMEs may seek funding support under the Productivity Solutions Grants to purchase such solutions, which will be offered under the SME Go Digital program. My colleague, Mr. Young, um, who will be speaking uh, as, as the fourth present presentation after this, will be sharing more about the Be Safe Online and Security as a Service Solution architecture. In conclusion, cybersecurity is a critical investment for our digital future. It is necessary for us to effectively manage cybersecurity risks to reap the full benefits that digital transformation has to offer. The government is committed to supporting SMEs in digitalizing safely and securely. But enterprises must also take ownership for their own cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is our collective responsibility. I encourage all of you to leverage on the resources that the government has put out to strengthen your company's cybersecurity posture. If we all do our part, I'm confident that we can build a safe and trusted cyberspace for all of us. Thank you very much. Yvonne, I turn the time back over to you. Thank you.